1950s. Say 1950s. Okay. And he had his, and he was in a Holy Ghost meeting at my church in 1974 where he had a vision and God spoke out about him starting a Raymond Bible Training Center, which your pastor, Pastor Dave, was trained at in the 1980s. So, uh, if Dead Hanging had never spoken that out in 1974 at my church in Longmont, Raymond wouldn't be there and your pastor would never been trained in ministry like he was. So, long story short, that's the church I'm going back to. Mark Brzee was actually a youth pastor at my church in 1975. He was a youth pastor at my church for one year. Now say one year. He had a youth group of about 15, maybe 20 students, maybe about 15. And in that youth group of those 15 students, he had 11 students that were touched by God. They had some powerful Holy Ghost meetings, okay, and, and powerful worship times. And they were they, their lives were completely changed in that just that one year. Well, of those 15 students, 11 of them went on to Rain Bible Training Center and became full-time ministers and now pastor churches all over the world. And that youth group is always is, is talked about to this day. Um, as one of the most amazing youth groups that, that experienced God and went to serve God and, and went into ministry. I say that to say this. Over the last five and a half years, we've had some powerful camps here that I've not seen in a long time. And um, some powerful moves of God. And um, I believe, the Lord showed me here recently, that I believe that some of you guys in this youth ministry are going to be a lot like the, the students in that youth group. A lot of you guys may be in full-time ministry one day. Some of you guys may be just following God in each different place of life, but he showed me that there was there was something about this youth group while we were here that God wanted to do some things. Now, I'm not Mark Rizzi. I'm not saying I'm even on his level. But what I am saying is that you guys experienced God in a supernatural way. It really didn't have to be Mark Rizzi himself, but um, he now pastors a very large church in Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, called World Outreach Church that Mark Rizzi pastors, and we know him we know him pretty well because he's uh, he was I've known him for years. Um, but I say that to say this, guys, is that if you got your Bibles, turn with me to Romans chapter 8 tonight. And this is kind of the chapter God's had me sit on. We're going to talk tonight. My message is that real faith requires you to take risks. Now, how many guys in here say, I have faith in God? You have faith in God. Okay, you think you have faith? We're going to talk about faith tonight. And, and this is really, it kind of goes back to what, what's going on with Jen and I in our lives uh, tonight. But before that, why don't we go ahead and pray for the offering? I, I went ahead of myself and did pray for the offering. So while we're at, if you guys can bow your heads and close your eyes, we'll pray for the offering. Father God, we just thank you, Lord, for tonight, Father. I thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to be in this room tonight with every single one of these students, Father God. The message that's going to be proclaimed tonight, Father God, is going to strike to the hearts of everyone in this room tonight, Father God. We thank you, Lord, for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Now, I will say this. Um, just when I was worshiping God here tonight earlier, um, the Lord did speak to me about some things in that um, there, there are some great things ahead for this youth ministry. And I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Um, the person after me that comes in here, I want to encourage you guys, get behind them. Okay? Support them. Just like you supported me and then some. In fact, I expect this youth ministry to do even 10 times more than what we did here. Okay? So, um, and I will say this too. Um, with this transition, there is going to be change, okay? This youth ministry is going to do some things different. There may be different events. Um, because, number one, you guys won't have a formal youth pastor over this department yet to kind of run things and do all the grunt work and everything that Jen and I have been doing and oversee things. And so in the meantime, there may be some different changes and events and stuff, okay? So I want to encourage you guys, stay open. Say, stay open. Stay open to what God has, okay? It may be a little different, but praise God. That's why we like Baskin Robbins with all the different flavors, right? Okay? You don't have just the same flavor of ice cream every time you go in there, okay? Or orange leaf. How many guys have ever been to orange leaf? Okay, come on. You guys hit it. All right, I like you guys hit it. Okay. If orange leaf only had one flavor, one topping. One topping. Would you ever go there again? Exactly. So, God needs different flavors, okay? So, not the flavor of the month, but flavors of leaders. So just get prepared for that. It's going to be good, though. Romans chapter 8, verse 14, it says, For as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you do not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, 
but you receive the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Now, you guys are you guys all excited about Star Wars coming out, right? Who here is excited about Star Wars? Okay. The Force is going to be awakening on December 18th. Forget about Christmas. Mark December 18th. we got a countdown, okay? Who cares about Christmas? We care about Star Wars, all right? Okay? So, here's the thing. In verse 14, it says, Many rights led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. Here's the thing. If you're going to follow God, you have to be led by the Spirit of God. If you're not led by the Spirit of God, you are going to get off track. You're going to have a life that's de 